Hi everyone and welcome. I'm here to have a little update on these microwave bowl holders and also um, potato bags. These are what you put your baked potatoes in. I've seen a few video videos out there recently um, where people have been asking about uh, using 100% cotton that they've seen other videos like that. I'm here to tell you um, I just seen somebody use something called pet, pelt line or something. It's an interfacing. This stuff has traces of um, polyester in there. The only batting for the inside that you can buy to put these in the microwave that is designed. This is by pelt line too. Um, you have to make sure they have just the pure one, uh, white ones that you can buy on a roll and you can buy it by the yard that it has traces of polyester in it unless it says wrap and zap it's not made for a microwave that's what this stuff was designed for it comes in a bag like this you get it at Walmart is the cheapest place to buy this also your thread must be a hundred percent cotton other words, it has polyester, it has, um, it could have rayon, it could have any, any other kind of stuff into it. The cheapest place to buy that is Walmart. You get a huge spool for five something. I know it seems like a lot, but it will last you for a long time if you use it just for that. Also, when you're looking at your fabric, it needs to be 100% cotton. I've seen somebody saying, I have some novelty fabric. Well, unless it's at 100% cotton, please don't use it, because I'm telling you, I had a lady down the road that's um, been making these for a while and she switched to cheap stuff well when you know it at the craft fairs people coming up to my booth telling me how her stuff caught on fire in their house so I don't want to see anybody with a fire I don't want to see anybody get hurt I just want to put this out here please please if you know anybody that's making these make sure that they're using them and if you're out buying one at a craft fair ask them what they use ask them if they and don't suggest to them just say hey what kind of batting are you using if they just say a hundred percent cotton batting they well do you know the name of it if they don't know the name that it's called wrap and zap then they they know that they're using something that isn't supposed to be used and you can have a fire um i've heard it time and time again from people that are trying to cut corners and make these even cheap they're pretty cheap to make as it is you can make really good money off them i sell out of them since the craft fair um, at Christmas time, I have had 43 more bowl holders ordered in the last like month and a half, two months. I just filled another order of 13. People like them, they keep coming back for them and they buy them for gifts. So, uh, you know, just make sure that your bowl holders, this is like a small one. This one's a medium one. These are my own personal ones. This is a potato bag. These things are wonderful. You can buy them with the flap. Uh, you can buy them without a flap. Like the uh, elderly don't like them. Everything I use is 100% cotton. And they have a pattern on the back that will show you how to make their potato bag here. Uh, so just please, um, this is just an update. I've just seen a few more videos come out and people um asking about this and, and it is it is very important that you stick to what it's meant to be a hundred percent cotton everything because buying this getting it cheaper is not always cheaper you can cause somebody's house to catch on fire their microwaves to catch on fire anything or even your own and that's the last thing that we want and this this here it says that it uh acts like an insulation um, and it's great for steaming potatoes and vegetables and for a baked potato bag and it says that you can use this in the microwave and stuff so um, that's what this was designed for and uh, it says uh, you know do not agitate when wet gently rinse it out and dry it don't put fabric softener in it you know, and, and not to leave it in the microwave more than two minutes. You know, so you're supposed to check on it and just let it hang dry. So, and I just wanted to bring a little update here so that you can 
know for sure about this and it's very important I've done I've been making these for about four or five years and I've done tons and tons of research because I was thinking oh I could buy this by the yard it says hundred percent cotton but little do you know it has polyester in it real fine strands of polyester and no matter if something says 100% cotton, like this batting, you have to get the one that is meant for that. So thank you for watching, and please share with your friends and let them know to make sure that um, they're, they're using the right thing if they're going to make them. Thank you very much.